and welcome once again to Mindful Movement. My name is Wayne Smith, and uh, I'll be leading you through some basic things to just get your, your mind cleared and your bodies just centered and grounded. So we'll start uh, as we normally do with just some simple breathing in and out in a very intentional and deliberate way. Uh, what we'll do is we'll breathe in for four counts. I'll keep a pulse. We'll hold for one and then breathe out for four counts. And we'll do that uh, maybe four times. Uh, we'll see. Maybe a little, maybe a little more if I feel like we're, we're going on a roll. <laughs> All right, so, and just take a breath in. Two, three, four, and hold. One, breathe out. Two, three, four, and again. Breathe in. Two, three, four, and hold. Breathe out. Two, three, and a four. And again, breathe in. Two, three, And breathe out. Two, three. One more time. And breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold it. And breathe out. Two, three, and a four. Okay. So I didn't say, uh, I didn't give you any instruction about how you should do this. You can do this work. Uh, either standing or if you are seated, you can definitely do it from a seated place. But if you are sitting, I just ask that you sit uh, right up on the top of your pelvis, uh, not slouch or sit, sit back, but sit up nice and tall, lengthen out through the top of the head um, as you do this work to get the most benefit. If you are standing, you want to make sure that you're standing so that your feet are firmly connected to the floor. Um, I'm standing in a, with my uh, feet more in a parallel position as opposed to turn out. A uh, little space between my feet and easy, easy, easy knees, not, not locking or gripping in my legs. We're gonna do that breathing pattern one more time, but this time we'll breathe in for four, hold for one, breathe out, four counts slowly. We're gonna add uh, movement of the arms. Uh, which will coincide with the, the breathing pattern. So as we stretch our bodies uh, upward with the arms, you want to uh, inhale and then we'll hold it and then we'll just let it all float down for four counts. Nice and easy, just like that. All right, and we'll do that sequence four times. Ready? And gather yourself. Breathe in, two, three, four, and hold it, stretch, exhale, two, three, four, and again, and breathe in, stretch, like you're waking up in the morning, I know it's in the evening, hold it, exhale, one, two, three, and a four, one, a couple more times, in, two, three, four, stretch, exhale, one, two, three, and a four, last one, and in, two, three, four, and hold it, and then release it. Take a moment to just assess where you are. Doing this kind of work uh, is really about just getting your, your mind not necessarily completely cleared, but just more focused and getting your, your uh, body more centered and grounded, connected to uh, the earth, uh, connected to yourself, just having a real sense of place where you are. Um, so we're going to, uh, from here, we're going to move into something that uh, uh, gets the body more um, uh, in line.
live end. Uh, we did this last time where we just did a bit of shaking, vibrating, and bouncing. And um, again, you can do this standing. If you're standing, of course, you have more, um, more range of motion in terms of involving your legs and your feet. Uh, if you are sitting, you can definitely do it from the waist up, uh, but it's just a, a bit of time to shake and vibrate and just keep that uh, sustained um, action going for a duration. So we'll do it for like at least two and a half minutes. I think that's how long the music is. Um, so we'll do this with uh, some of the music that I have here. Um, so yeah, let's let's go through this, and uh, and I'll I'll keep encouraging you for that that amount of time. I know that's a pretty substantial amount of time to do one thing over and over and over again. But it's just uh, no, and the goal is not to it's not necessarily like an aerobic activity. So we're not doing any high jumps or kicks or anything like that. It's just really about just uh, shaking up the muscles and bones and getting the blood uh, pumping. And of course, as you're doing all of this, you wanna keep your breath, your breathing, very open, uh, deliberately, intentionally, um, supporting what it is that you're doing. All right, so uh, let's put on our music here. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out before we start and begin shaking. You don't have to shake everything all at once. You can start with just the arms or the shoulders or even just the head. You want to keep this up. And notice how I'm kind of moving my head around, head and neck around. So you don't have to shake in one particular place the same way the whole time. Like I said, we'll keep going for a couple more minutes. Keep your breathing nice and open. And there are different ways to shake. You can do more of a rocking kind of rollicking. You can uh, do a little bit of bouncing. You can take it in all sorts of directions, play around with that. going at this for just about a minute or so, but keep it up. Keep it breathing. Keep breathing. You want to focus just on the hands and fingers, if you're, especially if you're sitting, if you've been sitting at a computer all day. Just move it all around. You can shake it up over your head. If you want to mirror what I am doing, feel free. Keep it up. Almost there. We have like about another 30 seconds. Oh, it's over already. <sighs> All right, so take this time, we'll keep that same music, to just breathe be in a place of silence. Just did all of that moving around and shaking. Just want to think about restoring all of that energy that you exerted. I'm going to think of restoring, building up like a battery, recharging. As you're breathing, you might incorporate just some simple movement of the arms and hands, articulating like I'm doing. You just mirror what I'm doing. deliberate way it is a way to recharge and especially if it's connected to your breath let me 
can take this into uh, just doing some easy, easy stretching. Again, stretching out the muscles, moving the bones around, again, is another way to just restore, to recharge. Just take a side stretch and bend. Of course, if you're um, nursing any ailments, please feel free to modify or just go as far as you can or not. We'll do the other side. Keep your breath nice, easy, and open. Let's do that first side again. Stretching over. Good. And just take one more stretch forward as far as you can go. And then slowly roll up through the spine, letting your head be the last thing. Okay, I hope that was good for you. Because <laughs> this, this work is really about just taking care of yourself. Anytime you engage in any kind of mindful activity, this is really about taking care of your needs, both physical needs as well as mental. And um, might be a little bit of spirituality connected with this because anytime you can work at the intersection of body and mind, I feel like the spirit is a part uh, of that as well. Um, so basically what we've done so far are two things that I've done with you uh, in the past for the last two sessions and in the action of just uh, dancing, if you will, in place. Now, this is an easy, easy dance, and uh, it's very uh, much about just moving the muscles and bones around. It can, it, it basically, it can be more of a, a continuation of some of the stretching work that we did just a moment ago. Um, but it's just an opportunity to, again, keep your breath a part of the movement. Let your movement guide your breath. Uh, get to help you uh, achieve this sense of uh, focus and centeredness, groundedness. Again, mindfulness is what, is what this is all about. Uh, so I'll put on a piece of music here off of my playlist. And this piece of music is not very long at all. Um, so... Yeah, just do your best and uh, get the most out of it in the short amount of time that will be when we move. Again, just take a moment to embrace stillness after having done motion. And uh, yeah, that was music by one of my favorite jazz artists, um, Jackie Terrazon. Um, so, and I don't own any rights to his music right now. <laughs> but uh, I'll just 
just put that out there. Uh, he's a, an, an amazing jazz pianist. <sighs> All right, how are you feeling? I know I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> but I imagine that you're feeling uh, two things. Uh, most of the times when I've done these workshops, people say that they feel a little more energized, but at the same time, they feel a little more relaxed. Yeah. So uh, those two things can happen simultaneously, or you might just feel relaxed, or you might just feel more energized. Um, so we'll do maybe just a couple more things um, before we close it out. Uh, this other thing is a, uh, gonna go back to just breathing, but we're gonna breathe in a different type of pattern, yeah? So we're going to uh, breathe in for four counts, and still hold for one at the top of that inhalation, but we're gonna breathe out for six counts. So that means that when you're taking your, your uh, breath in, you really have to try to pull in as much oxygen, much air into your lungs as possible so that you can breathe out for a longer amount of time. Uh, that might be a little bit challenging, what this will do definitely is that it will um, allow you to increase the oxygen levels in your bloodstream. And uh, as we do this work, whether you're standing or sitting, um, you might feel a little lightheaded. Uh, if you want to take a seat, if you have been standing and you want to take a seat, uh, I encourage you to go ahead and do so, invite you to do so. Um, so you, because breathing in this way can sometimes give you that sense of lightheadedness because we're, um, we're inundating <laughs> through the lungs, we're inundating our, our uh, oxygen levels uh, in our body and it tends to give us that sense of, ooh, wow. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see what I have on my playlist here. So again, we're gonna breathe in for four counts, hold it, and then breathe out for six. And of course, I'll be keeping track of all of that. And we're gonna go through that sequence at least four times, like we've been doing. So breathing in for four, hold for one, breathe out for six. All right, here we go. And prepare to get started. If you're sitting, as I said, make sure you're sitting up on your chair and not slouching back. And here we go. Breathe in. Hold in silence, hold in stillness, or 
like a couple of minutes. You want to use soft focus or close your eyes and just listen to the music. start with us at the very beginning of our session. Yeah, we should have we should have been able to shake out and stretch out all of that tension. But as you are just breathing in your own natural pattern, you want to think of just letting your your bones just feel weighted and heavy. And you're only using enough muscle activity to keep yourself sitting up or standing up. After our session today, you might find if you are ready to go eat dinner, <laughs> you may find that uh, you're enjoying your meal a little bit more. Or if you're an early go to bed person, <laughs> you may find that, uh, and even after the fact uh, from now, you might find that you're able to uh, sleep just a little bit easier tonight. At least that's my hope. So we'll see. We'll do uh, one more uh, thing. Um, so I, I'm, I'm debating. Like I always have like a plan in my classes, and then sometimes in the moment, like I said, oh, let's change it up a little bit. Uh, but I do want to end with something that uh, gets us a little more uh, invigorated, and then we'll take some time to do some restorative uh, breathing and just uh, sitting in stillness. But um, I'm going to do this uh, activity that's uh, taken from some of the um, Kundalini uh, work, which is uh, a, a, a movement-based meditation, um, and it's called fire breathing. And uh, this will also get your digestion going pretty well too. So this this may actually make you hungry. Uh, <laughs> well, what we'll do is breathe from our bellies. If you could just place your hand. Uh, right there on your belly and uh, our diaphragm that's that big cavernous it's actually a muscle that helps the lungs to uh, expand and contract this is all part of the the respiratory system you want to have a sense of your uh, when you're breathing in this way your belly when you inhale your belly is actually I know you want you need to let it go I know you want to try to have that six pack but uh, let your belly expand, right? And then when you exhale, you want to feel that belly contracting, yeah? So we're going to uh, do that. Let's just do that in a slow way before we get into the fire way. Uh, so breathe in and let your belly just expand. Exhale. And just like you're letting the air out of a balloon. So you want to breathe in. Oh, I didn't say this at the very beginning. But maybe you were able to do this. But you breathe. when you inhale, make sure you breathe in through your nose. When you exhale, you can also exhale through your nose or you can breathe out through your mouth if you want to cycle that that way. All right. So let's take a, a couple more breaths. In. Letting the belly expand. Exhale. A couple more times. Breathe in. Belly expanding. Exhale, letting the belly contract. All right, just breathe normally. So with fire breathing, we're going to breathe in as much as we can in a count and breathe out as much as we can in a count. So we're going to be breathing in a really fast, rapid way. And we'll sustain this for a bit of time. We won't go for a full two minutes. We'll just go for like about 30 seconds, maybe a minute if I feel like we can, uh, we can handle that. Um, uh, what else can I say? Uh, 
sometimes uh, people have their hands just lightly resting on their belly as they're doing this work. You can either do it that way, or you can just let your, your arms uh, hang um, uh, by your side um, or wherever they're comfortable, all right? So sit up nice and tall, and uh, we'll start fire breathing. We're not going to use any music with this. Um, we'll just, uh, I'll just keep track of the time. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just see how it goes. All right, here we go. Ready? And begin. Keep it up. through the nose. Almost done. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Ooh, I feel like I've been running around the block. <laughs> they don't call it fire breathing for nothing. <laughs> you may have found too, because uh, when I've done this work, when I do this work, I find that my nostrils feel a little more, uh, not so much hot, but like, uh, yeah, like they're like all of my my sinuses have been activated. So uh, yeah, I'm ready to to do it, get my neti pot and clear all that out, but <laughs> that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. Uh, how are you feeling around that? Yeah? Oh yeah, just take a moment <clears throat> to just be, be, just take a moment to just be uh, with all of that. Uh, I breathe normally, um, and we'll do, we'll end, we'll end on one more thing, restorative thing. Uh, I'll put on another type of music. And um, so just give you a moment to just kind of move how your body uh, needs to. This is about listening, listening in a different kind of way, listening to yourself, listening to the needs of your body. So with this next piece of music, um, it's it has a lot of different layers to it. Uh, it's a percussive piece. Um, but there's a lot of space, so you can move slowly, you can move fast, uh, you can move a little bit in between, you can vary it up. Um, we'll just do some uh, freestyle, restorative movement, and breathing, of course, keeping your breath always a part. It's always about utilizing your breath and your movement in a really intentional and specific way. Again, this is how we achieve that state of what we call mindfulness, yeah? All right, so let me get the music here going. And uh, we'll keep this going for a couple of minutes. And of course, you can always just mirror whatever I'm doing. You don't wanna have to think about it, but I encourage you to even close your eyes and just listen to what your body needs to do. There's no wrong way to do any of this. I mean, I move how I move, but I encourage you to move how you move and how you need to.
about another minute and a half. Keep moving, slow or fast or anywhere in between. Find a way to bring it to a close, however you feel. It could end with you continuing to move until I stop the music, or you want to hold in any particular pose and just be in that place. assessment of where you are as your breathing is continually nice, open. You should feel proud of yourself for taking care, taking a moment out of your day to take care of yourself. And with that simple idea, just taking a moment if you're busy, uh, you work at a desk most of the day, most of the time, just take a moment to do some of this breath work or body movement work with breathing. Uh, you'd be amazed at how it will allow you to continue and do more. And it also, as I mentioned earlier, can help you to rest better. Because rest is important, sleep is important. Also, especially with some of that fire breathing, you might find that it aids in your digestion. So that's uh, I, one of my friends who is a um, yoga specialist. Uh, she was telling me that by doing that uh, fire breathing on a regular basis, it can actually help to uh, raise your metabolism. And I know that's something I need to be doing every day. I <laughs> as I am aware, as I get older, my metabolism is not as quick as it used to be. <laughs> but anyway, I've enjoyed my time with you, and I hope you have enjoyed your time with me. And uh, this seems to be a recurring thing on a month.